thing. After I get pregnant, he blocked me, he threw me, and then gone. Period. That's it. So wow. my mother was double. Hi, hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's Wang and I hope you guys are all doing great and today's video is kind of like a little bit different I am here in Dumagueri with a beautiful person next to me. <laughs> hi Giselle hello, thank hello you everyone for, yes. thank you Wang for having me on your channel my pleasure and thank <laughs> you for being here you're oh, very I, welcome yeah, it's been a long time I didn't interview a yes, Filipina <laughs> here so, uh, Giselle, please introduce yourself to our viewers. Hello, everyone. This is me, Giselle, and I'm living on Valencia, and I have a YouTube channel, sure. Giselle in the Philippines, and I am a single mother of a two-year-old baby boy, and I am currently in an LDR situation right now. I have a boyfriend named John, okay. and um, we've been together for like two years and more, two years and five months, and then um, it was so good to share with you a little bit story about mine <laughs> yes okay speaking to that first i gonna go to the youtube channel yes. what is inspire you for your youtube channel um actually youtube is not really what i wanted to because i've never even dreamed that i'm gonna be in the youtube because <laughs> maybe it was like a pair um then you know my friends are doing like that and then i enjoyed watching them and I said, what if I'm going to try it with my own yes. way? And that's why I did make it. And also because I wanted to have a good memories when I am growing. I wanted to see what my life before, you know, travels and um, be with my families, doing a lot of province style. And then my video talk about province life, what my province look like in the yes. Philippines, like what I do. And then I also do a... I'm interviewing like what you did yes. and um, a lot of stuff there. So if you wanted to um, see yes. my video, please check Giselle in the Philippines. Very easy to find there. So you will see yeah. a lot. <laughs> I'll make sure to put her link in Thank the description you. here in uh, this video. So how was the experience being in YouTube? Um, <laughs> it, was, it was okay. It was good. And actually, I am very happy that... Um, I was a breadwinner of my family. I don't have a dad. Oh, yes. uh, my mother, as a single mom right now, I have three siblings. And yeah. um, I'm a single mother at the same time. So I was very happy that I can provide something for my family, like foods, you know. And uh, we will eat. We have the chance to eat three times a day already. Yes. So it was a very big help that YouTube um, really great uh, gave me a lot of um, things in life also. So, uh, yeah, YouTube... Uh, changed my life so yeah it caught my attention when you said now you can have a chance to eat three yes. times okay. so yeah i think there's a story behind it so yeah. tell me a life way back when you don't have youtube yet yeah and like you know yeah that. so um like what i said i don't have a father um when yes. i'm two years old i don't have a father anymore she he died when he was 28 years old at the young age and then my mother is the one who provide foods work rain and shine wow. and i've always witnessed those work because i was working at the same time like i help my mom the way i can we will mm -hmm. go to the farm my mother is selling different foods nuts vegetables anything and um i don't want to cry because yeah, okay. <laughs> yes i know because i um it's really hard when you see your mom sacrifices yeah. sacrifice every day and i'm very happy that my mother take us to the school mm -hmm. um provide us a shelter gave us his clothes and then i'm very happy that i graduated senior high school i mean not in a college because of some financial mm -hmm. um you know problems mm -hmm. but i am very happy also that i learned something in my high school life which is i can communicate very well i can mm -hmm. understand yes. also and this is what i use um on youtube because Yes. um to because mm -hmm. all of my yeah. subscribers mostly are foreigners so yes. i use those learnings to um make more videos you know i'm, I'm really good like <laughs> i just love talking so but you are blessed to have your mother yes. unlike me of course yeah it's a different story yeah but 
uh, I, I can see that you are a strong woman. I can see how grateful you are yes. and whatever you have, which is a good quality yeah. of a woman. Uh, so uh, tell me about, uh, can you share me about, you mentioned earlier that you have a boyfriend. Yes. How you met him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, I was single for about, single mom for about six months after i gave birth to my yes. um because the father is the father the biological father which is a filipino is not supporting us like wow. n- you know so physically emotionally yeah and everything way. after okay. i get pregnant he blocked me he threw me and then gone a period that's it so wow. my mother was double working at that i was also trying my best to work at that time you know mm-hmm. not really going somewhere like a sideline job only yes. with me and my mom mm-hmm. and then after that i was on Facebook, I was trying to, uh, because I'm filled with Filipino, maybe I could share with foreigners. Yeah. yeah, so I did try to scroll up and on Facebook, um, on Facebook yeah. only. So no dating site, but yeah, just yeah. Facebook. Mm. And then when I found this guy, I I was the one who took the, first, take the first step or the wow. first move. So I sent a friend request and then we, we start talking. But after that, uh, we stopped. We did stop talking, and then for three months, and yes. then after uh, we talked back again. Glad I was still single. Glad he's still single at that time. And then that's how I shared everything, my life story about yes. him. He likes it because I was just true. Because I was really looking for a serious man. So yeah. I would start it with myself to being honest of yeah, what my right. life is. Yes. So he really enjoyed it. He really likes it until mm-hmm. we fell in love with each other, and then we waited for so long. It's because it's COVID at that time before Pandemic, we met. Yes. Yeah, so we met like almost two years also for wow. the first time because yeah. of pandemic at that time. So, you know, it was so good when you meet the persons that you love the most, you spend time and you enjoy it. So it was very, so, yeah, it was very good time. You became a boyfriend, girlfriend and boyfriend through internet. Internet. So you were dating a couple of, like, I must say a year. Yes. Before you met each other. So yeah. how was the feeling when you finally in the airport waiting oh, for Oh, it was so good. It was, I can't, I can't even sleep at that night. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. I feel like, oh my God, this is it. And oh I, I, everything was very excitement at that time. So, uh, of course, the first hug, the first kiss was always memorable to me. And um, yeah, it was so good. Um, it was my first time being with the foreigner, yes. like my boyf- boyfriend. And um, I'm very happy also that he's my fiance now. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy for you. Yeah. And, you know, so far you're in current, uh, long distance. Yes. Currently you are in a long distance yes. relationship, right? So yeah. what you think the most challenging in dealing those um, kind of re- uh, that kind of relationship actually because you know there's a lot of challenge already for yes. two years or more mm-hmm. and um, the first thing for me is sometimes the time the adjustment of the time because when i'm awake he's about to sleep so we have to adjust each other you know yes. and then the same time um it's really hard also when you really want to see him but you can't like i mean be with him personally physically but you can't mm-hmm. it's very hard at the same time the trust it mm, is yes. very important even though we trust each other but i think it is very important to show more uh trust that i could really trust you and i trust him very much yes. and um, um a lot of challenge by the way but we all make it we will think ourselves right now in the future like uh, this is what happened and then we're gonna be together in the future hopefully yeah you get a goal together yeah. the same page i must say yes so what is the tips you can give to this in a long distance oh, relationship very good tip yes. uh the first thing for me is um you always t- to have a patience it mm-hmm. is very important especially when you don't even hug each other you know just have more patience and uh, more trust because love is nothing without trust so you should trust that person more patience of course love and then um when the when that guy is trying to chat with you or trying to know how your day it is good it is good when you try to share what your day goes today you know so that you will have a conversation so you will enjoy the talk like sharing that's how we did that's yes. our um cycle every day sharing what my day look like and sharing his days at the same yes. time yes it's just like 
it takes more effort. Yeah, more effort. More and everything. Yeah, yeah, yes, everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, that's really a touching story. I yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I've been crying in different interviews already. So this time I should not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just part of being yes. you. And if you are kind of like you know, you get woman is like that. Yeah. So. I have a very I soft heart. And, you know. Tender heart. Yes. <laughs> so okay, what is your Kind of uh, ten can. I mean, what is your opinion in those a lot of foreigners want to come here in Philippines? Oh, yeah. Um, what is you? What is your opinion about? Um, for me, for those who are planning to visit Philippines, then please go. Don't get your ticket right away. Visit Philippines because for me, Philippines is the best country. Who you will enjoy. There are lots of islands and a lot of places to visit. And for those also that I think mostly uh, there are some foreigners that who likes Filipina, yeah. and then very possible that you can find it here in the Philippines. And um, yeah, Philippines is a very nice country for you. So enjoy and um, have a great uh, experience also when you visit here. It's okay. a very nice country. Yes, your advice to those guys. How they gonna choose? How they can tell that they, oh she's uh, she's the one? Yeah. Yeah. So how they can tell if she's the one? Because most of Filipina are attractive. Most of yeah, Filipina yeah, yeah. are, you know, they can. Some other. I'm not gonna generalize it, but you know the fact that there are some yes. Filipina that aren't so sincere. Yes. Yeah. So for me, um, the only best thing that you could see or. Um, think that this is the one is based on my experience or based on what I observe also yeah. to all women mm -hmm. here in the Philippines is if the girl you will try to to meet her you know make sure that the girl will never ask you anything yeah because that's a very red flag for me yes. when the girl will try to ask you and um, you should not give any money because yes. if you go try to um, show something money mm -hmm. they will try to uh, they will you. try to be with you yeah. and then what if you don't have money anymore yeah. so they will gonna go so do oh, not yeah. show or do not give any money especially in your first dating you know okay. there's a dating period there's um, a yeah. relationship you know so if possible do not give anything to the girl and then uh, because you will test that girl if she's really stick with you even if you are nothing yeah. i mean there were still filipinas right now that even if you look like um you don't have this as long as you can take her to a dinner you know they'll be happy yeah. they'll be happy because i, I also i don't generalize that yes. but there were some filipinas also that um would just look for money and then yeah. you will feel in the love if you're gonna show money but at the end of the day once you don't give anything, they're gonna yeah, leave it's gonna you. Fake, fake. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so, fake. yeah. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, so I can tell you are very young at age. Yes. But you are a very incredible woman. I can tell it. I can feel it. And what makes Giselle strong? Actually, my family is my inspirations of what I'm doing, especially my son, because yes. I grew up without a father and also I don't want my son to grow up without a father because it's very hard. So I'm very thankful that I have my uh, fiancé that stands as a father with my son. So um, I inspired a lot every day because I wanted to do this to my family. Like, yes. you know, Filipinas are very are well oriented with the family. Like we are very close to our yes. family. So maybe one of the reasons also because the only thing I have is just my mom right now. And my mom is growing also. So I want the best for her. That's yes. why I do this because of my family, mm -hmm. especially for my moms. For all what she's done to us, she deserves to um, have a little rest this time. So yeah. Stay rest, ma'am. I'm gonna do the rest. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you are lucky. I was to still uh, have yeah. her around to have her. Yeah, you know, you can't imagine without her. Yes, yes. I love my mom so much yeah, more than yeah. anything else. So, Giselle, this is just quick. What is your opinion about each cup? Because there's a lot of oh yeah thing going on. About <laughs> each cup. My boyfriend is 58, and I was 23 years old. And you so, are, yes. Yeah. Um. For me, I don't really matter an age cap, by the way. Because mm -hmm. if you're looking for a serious mm -hmm. relationship, it doesn't define an age. Yeah. There were some that are looking for young, young, like we're both yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I was looking for a serious relationship. And if I will look for a young and then young and old for me are like different, different. Yeah, yes. uh, old are more experienced. Yeah. And I, because I feel to be with an old guy, 
and then he really treats me very well he older guy older guy i mean older guy <laughs> older guy he treats me very well and then he feel that um the honesty is there the loyalty is there like i feel like i could find it with yes. with old guy i mean yeah. there were some with young but um I just want to try the old guy because I was been with young already. Yeah, so it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. So let's go to another yeah. set. Uh, you know, another age. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's just about the maturity and the experience yes. in life and yes. they learn life. Yeah. And but it's not generalizing all. Like, it's just different, yes. different experience, different, uh, di different people, different yes. person. Yes. So yes, I'll invite our viewers once more for your channel. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, once again, um, please check Giselle in the Philippines. Yes. And for those who want to check all my videos, you will see there different a lot from yeah. province life to uh, different different videos guys so please subscribe to my channel thank you yes. so much Wang thank for you. having me on your channel <laughs> thank this is you. our first time meeting each other yes yes it was a very good soft conversation <laughs> yeah she is <laughs> incredibly amazing woman thank as I could you tell. pretty beautiful inside of <laughs> take care everyone and thank you for the support as always and be safe bye good thank, you. thank you bye bye Giselle. Thank you. Really do appreciate it, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Right. Hi, hello, Wana. Okay. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> it's been a long time. I didn't interview uh, a, a woman, a woman, yes. a woman in here. I mean, a woman, lady, yeah, lady whatever. <laughs> because, um, um, it's a ikat sa hatay sa ikat ra. No way. No, so, no, no worry about. Okay. It. Uh, my goodness. Now I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs>